All right, guys. Today we're talking about the Eastern Blackneck Garter Snake. This is Texas Annie. <laughs> Not very creative, but uh, her name is Annie and she is one of my female uh, Eastern Blacknecks and she's relatively new to us. So she, I don't think she was handled much when she was younger, but um, we're trying to get her acclimated and you can see she's beautiful. So Eastern Blacknecks are one of the um, garter snakes that I think are just absolutely beautiful in their natural state, uh, meaning no morph needed, no human intervention needed at all. Uh, what you're seeing is what ma Mother Nature produces. Um, there are more colorful garter snakes out there, um, but from a pattern and natural color perspective, oh man, my opinion is these are hard to beat. They get pretty good size. Um, Annie, I'm guessing, is about two years old, something like that. So you can see she's starting to put on some weight, starting to get her hips on her, so to speak, right? So when they start bulking up a little bit, that's when you know that they're getting big enough to potentially breed. So we're going to try to breed Annie um, this coming spring. Right now it is uh, ju almost July. So, um, you know, we'll keep feeding her up this year and then uh, brewmate her. We'll hope to breed her in the spring. I wanna try to get a close up of the face. Hopefully that focuses for us here. They have beautiful face markings and uh, she's actually in between sheds. So she's not particularly bright right now. Um, so she's even prettier when she has a fresh shed, but you can see it's just beautiful color. And this is one of our males. We have yet to name him. He's also fairly new. Uh, he's definitely big enough to breed. Um, and we're just starting to put this, put this group together. So he will very likely be paired with uh, Texas Annie. <laughs> you can see he's very active. You can also see that, of course, being a male, he's thinner uh, than Annie is, right? Also, you may notice that his dorsal stripe is a little narrower than Annie's, and it's not quite as orange. It's a little more yellow than it is orange, but still the bright white sides are beautiful. The pattern on the sides, right? Look at the white towards the tail there. Just beautiful snakes. What do you guys think? And this is our other female. I think we're leaning towards Bandita for this one as a name, but this is our other female. She's also, excuse me, big enough to breed in the spring. And again, just a beautiful snake. She's not uh, as easily handled. She's a more nervous snake than, than Annie is, uh, but she's beautiful nonetheless. Really, oh, she's got some poop on her there or something, um, substrate. Anyway, you can see she's got beautiful markings, very good color, and we hope She'll make beautiful babies. Okay, so taking a look here at the range map for the Eastern Black Neck Garter Snake, you'll see that the vast majority of this species is found in Central Texas. There are a couple of isolated um, populations uh, south, as you can see on this map here, but for the most part, we're talking about Central Texas. Um, and we're gonna zoom in here a little bit more and what you see here is even more specifically, most of the population is around Austin, Texas, and then some to the north and west of San Antonio. So you can also see here in these pictures of the habitat that um, consistent with that area of Texas, of course, you have uh, a lot of rocky outcroppings. And of course, garter snakes always love water. So what you should look for, of course, is these rocky outcroppings around water sources where the snakes can, of course, find uh, not only uh, rodents and toads and things like that around the outcroppings, but also amphibians and fish, of course, uh, around the water sources. So these uh, habitat photos and the range maps are courtesy of iNaturalist. If you're not familiar with that website, go check it out. So that's just a little bit about the Eastern Black Neck Garter Snake. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and put some comments in there so I know what you're interested in learning about next. Thanks for watching.